Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity, bottom left hand corner. We have Crane starting as the white Protoss, bottom right hand corner. We have Jedi One starting as the green Protoss. This is going, I think this is on Ascension. I should have checked the map. I was trying to avoid the right, looking at the right hand side of the map. Usually I got this like mental thing where I can like just look, I avoid the timestamp. I avoid everything else. I just try to look at what the map is to avoid spoilers. I've been pretty good about that. Mostly because I know most of the time when the game is spoiled for me, I find that I uh, don't produce as good a commentary as I possibly could. Anyway, there's meta to that from the Twitch stream, but I hold no grudges. Just uh, for future reference for people, yeah, avoid spoilers. If you're, uh, if you're a player, Advil. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, except I'm not kidding. I, I called him out. He's in the chat. He feels the shame and the enjoyment of the front part of the commentary. And you miss moments like these if you don't get to watch it live, guys. Anyway, um, I guess... I'm not sure why I say that, because I don't mind if you guys watch it on YouTube or not. This is late night diggity action right here. A little bit more off the cuff. On Ascension, I'm not sure who to, to favor between these two guys. Crane, he's a very strong player. Uh, I think... You know what he reminds me of? I think he reminds me of... Um, he reminds me a little bit of Father... Comparatively, like the same sort of like he he has improved a lot rapidly. And I think he has potential to be one of the great American Protoss players. I am excited to see him in future like Rogues Galleries and uh also excited to see him in STPL and things down the line. It looks like they're a two gate opening here, by the way, uh, from Jedi One in the bottom right hand corner. Well, actually, I actually like that build more on this map. I'm a little bit shocked to see a more dragoon heavy opening. It looks like Zealot initially being built and cancelled for Crane. He's going to drop a cybernetic score before Zealot upon not scouting that 12 o'clock location. Looks like Jedi won. And this is going to come down to scouting here. Is Where does Jedi scout? Is he going to scout? Looks like he is scouting to the north. So small mercies. First Zealot is going to come out. Crane going to have some trouble defending this though. He's going to be outnumbered. And it's going to be a bit of time before that Dragoon is out. Especially on this map that has no ramp. Oftentimes Zealots perform better because there's no high ground blockage that's had, and you can see you can have the Dragoon. Point being, being more aggressive uh, is a more effective strategy on rampless maps. And on Ascension in particular, because you have that one small gap that you can kind of fall back to, Zealots, I feel like, perform very, very well. Assimilator being dropped, three initial Zealots, now moving out for Jedi, gonna head here. Unfortunately for him, I don't think he realizes that he might have even been able to get additional damage done out of this with these three Zealots. If he had actually pressed a little bit. Uh, halting Zealot production at this stage, moving the three probes into gas. And with this initial uh, Zealot build, the hope is, is to get into the probe line, get a handful of probe kills, and end up with an economic advantage as far as a follow-up. Probe on probe fight at the three o'clock location. And is this a secondary scouting probe? Um, was there two scouting probes out there? This scouting probe returning back home. I wonder if this probe was just on attack move and has just been following this probe absolutely everywhere. Anyway, on the front, the Dragoon Crane doing a good job of staggering forward, trying to engage right there. A couple misfires. I'm not sure if this is due to lag or what, but yeah, you can see it's three Zealots, and he's able to get on top of this initial Dragoon. It's going to be a, time, a bit of time before an additional Dragoon is built. So, microing against this, this Zealot retreating. One Zealot has been taken out, and Crane actually microing this rather well, splitting his attack forces. Looks like Jedi One not opting to dive into the probe line to get additional kills. This Zealot actually being trailed off. So Crane going to end up with an additional advantage, buying himself some excellent time, some, some really nice micro out of that. So he loses one Zealot, honestly, for three. And it looks like not even a probe kill in this base. A Dragoon does fall. But in the midst of this, this is going to end up being a much, much better trade for Crane. However, it looks like he faltered a little bit on his macro overall. 19 probes uh, tw to 22 behind this. Does have two Dragoons blockading. One probe blocking the gap right there. And still this probe chase in the middle of this. Second gateway being added and a robotics facility. Uh, are you a robotics facility? So it's going to be two gate robo and a shuttle? So I assume we're going to see DT drop as far as a follow-up for Crane in the midst of this. That's usually the follow-up build. So I'm looking to see a Citadel of a Dune alongside that shuttle. In the meantime, it looks like Jedi 1 does have range about halfway finished. And was there a cancellation on range? No, range is going to finish. S still going observatory. 
What is... I'm curious what the plan is behind the shuttle. Is it just to try to use Dragoon Micro? Because oftentimes what you can do with shuttles and Dragoons is you can, as a, as a thought, you can kind of hop the Dragoons in and out. They almost act like a little bit of additional defense. Going to rescue a single probe <laughs> out of this. But otherwise, that's a heavy investment. Okay, so he's going to follow up with Robo. But uh, still a little bit surprised that the um, shuttle was built so early. Not sure that's a... Well, I, I don't know. This guy's a better player than me. Go that way. Four Dragoons are starting to press towards the front. Not gonna, They might be able to harass that Zealot a little bit, but not going to get much else. Two gateway opener, just trying to check things out. There's that robotics facility in the opposite corner. Queen wants to get something done with this economic damage. With the positioning of this robotics facility, Jedi One might get eyes on it. I think he's going to see the Shimmer here and know that there's OBS out in the field. But in the meantime, the shuttle is just wandering out on its own. Potentially to get scouting information. Is this a broken replay? This has to be a broken replay, right? We'll see. Uh, we'll see how the game proceeds. Uh, shuttle, yeah, wanders up. This is a clever play. Okay, no, I don't think this is a broken replay. I think this is just a feint by Crane. That is some next level thinking. So he he pushes the shuttle out to make Jedi One panic, and that does push a lot of probes. And interrupt some mining time. That is a genius play. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Nexus warping in about halfway. Dragoons and Zealots moving forward. That is brilliant. Let's see if it pays off. He's going to have to bring the shuttle back to get the Reaver. But here's the secondary thing. Well, Jedi One, as far as a follow-up, might be thinking, okay, maybe this is a feint again. And he might end up ignoring that shuttle altogether. So Nexus warping in, Assimilator warping in. It's kind of one of those timing things as well. As far as when that could sneak uh, towards the base. So he's actually, yeah, scooping up the Reaver, moving a lot of units forward. As far as raw unit count, he's looking at eight Dragoons that are getting scattered a little bit. In the defense for Jedi 1, he is going to have a lot of troops. They're, unfortunately, they're moving up to that 3 o'clock location. So might have been out of position to engage at the gap. It looks like... Crane going to try to engage, unfortunately, getting a little bit of a misfire there. And that shuttle isn't in the midst of this army because it is dropping at the main. Two Reavers, or sorry, a single Reaver in there, able to take one Dragoon out, trying to micro in the midst of this. So this is, oh, that's, a, that's unfortunate for Crane because he had the feint earlier. Two Dragoons got left in that back area for Jedi 1, so he was able to disrupt that drop. And I'm not sure that Reaver got a significant amount of kills. So now he's going to end up economically behind. This Nexus warping in. Jedi won with a significant supply lead. However, tech lead's still in Crane's favor. If he scoops up a second Reaver and boogies with the rest of these Dragoons and presses towards that natural expansion, he's still going to have opportunities to do a lot of damage, though, because this is a superior army to what Jedi One is fielding. I don't know that Crane knows that, however. This observer is going to float forward. It's going to get. It's going to be spotted. Now the question is, is how long does it survive, and does it get a good look at the pure dragoon count? So trailing off right there. That's moving Jedi One off the high ground. However, the reavers are right there. The shuttle goes down very rapidly, but this is two reavers getting a lot of grouped shots. So a sizable advantage. The observer is going to get picked off as well. The reaver survives with a sliver of health, and a lot of dragoons. Looks like they're just going to abandon that Reaver. The Reaver retreating to the north, but they might be able to run around this top side and come, just peel in from the north and potentially threaten that natural expansion. Now, keep in mind, you've got five gateways behind this and two bases worth of production. A much longer reinforcement point for Crane. Looks like he's not engaging on the high ground, just diving in some nice micromanagement to do some focus fire right there. The Reaver trailing slowly. Jedi One getting a decent amount of damage. Is he going to pick away at that Zealot on retreat? Looks like he's seeding the high ground, also taking a lot of free shots in retreat. Crane continuing to pressure forward. The Reaver has to be very, very careful with positioning here. A couple Dragoons trying to recoup, or trying to regroup, and uh, getting smacked there in that gap. Shield battery on the front door for Jedi One, which is a clever play. The Dragoons out of position, getting hit by that spread. The Reaver doing some additional damage. Now Dra the Dragoons coming in and occupying from the right. And now, Jedi One, scattered, might end up in a dangerous situation overall and lose this match 
probes not being pulled off the line. The shield battery not even in operation here. The Dragoons pressing in. One Dragoon trailing. There's still a Reaver in this attack force, which is just assailing these troops. Probes are not going to last long against a Reaver shell, but the Reaver gets taken out before it's able to get on that probe line. Crane with five Dragoons left at this natural expansion. Keep in mind, there are five gateways behind this, so a single grouping of Dragoons with support form probes, he might be able to save this natural expansion. However, Jedi One is going to have to stop mining here, which is going to give Crane momentarily, momentary economic advantages, and he's losing a good amount of infrastructure. More Dragoons pressing into this. He might even lose this Nexus if he, doesn't get a, if he just doesn't hurry up. So three Dragoons are out. He wants to try to distract Crane and force him to engage. But he needs to be careful that he doesn't over-engage. One Dragoon down. Crane reinforcing the speed shuttle now here with this Reaver. And I think this is going to be game now. Crane has done it. Great explosion actually hitting a big group. And I do not think Jedi One couldn't hold his natural expansion. At a tech disadvantage. Ooh, protect that shuttle, Crane. Now, Jedi One boxed into his base. Crane can basically reinforce and do kind of a, yeah, kind of do a, basically a contain at this stage and continue to just macro up. He's even at probes and mining off two bases. The Reaver moving too far forward, though, and getting wiped out. A big group of reinforcements making their way across, and it looks like, I think, yeah, this is the wise choice on Crane's part, giving the close reinforcement positions to just go ahead and back out. Citadel of Adun is in is up. It's possible... Some speed zelts or some DTs, but the thing is that observers out. A forge being dropped for Crane in the midst of this. Reaver, another Reaver being poked up, or poked up, picked up. Two additional gateways being dropped for Crane. All he has to do is survive and just keep eyes out to make sure that Jedi One doesn't try to do anything sneaky by, like, grab a ninja expansion. And he should end up winning this match. Speaking of ninja expansions here, Jedi One trying to double expand in the midst of this. Speed Reaver continuing to press forward. Again, just a single Reaver inside of that. Crane now with the supply advantage. And Jedi One pressing forward in the midst of this. Showing that Dragoon trooping. Not getting the better part of that engagement. Lucky he didn't lose a Dragoon in the midst of that. Reaver being dropped on the low ground. The Observer going to try to track this Dragoon army, and unfortunately, it's not checking that natural expansion, and it's not checking that 3 o'clock base. So if Crane is, plays overly passive, warping in a, a Photon Cannon here, just in case of potential DTs, we do have Templar Archives. Are we going to see High Templar? No, okay, we are seeing DT. Keep in mind, Psy Storm and High Templar can be a balancing factor. Has Crane made his way towards... He's not teching up as well. Ooh, this is kind of maybe Danger Town for Crane, actually. Because currently, so he's got the, the Reaver in the shuttle in that bottom right-hand corner. This base actually is, did I miss a huge, I might have missed a bit of harassment there. I'm going to wait for this Reaver to, to plop back out. Because I think I might have missed a, no, I don't think I did. Because the probe count hasn't shifted. I think these probes just transferred to other locations. Dark Templar, High Templar are here. I don't think Psystorm is upgraded. Reaver scooping up. So two Reavers being scooped up here. This Observer sees the attack force. Crane actually needs to get aggressive and attack this to really punish Jedi while he was trying to do everything at once. He's got a, a significant supply lead. He still has that tech lead with those Reavers. Unfortunately, not the engagement point he wants. He wants to lead those Reavers forward. Losing that Observer is actually significant because it's going to make climbing this high ground much, much more threatening. He has a second Observer going ahead and pushing up. I like that Jedi One sneaking these troops back to not... Provide those free Reaver shots. Jedi One behind this is produce. Yeah, he's this observer is going to be critical that it stays alive because those DTs could shift the battle. Great Reaver shots though, on just hugely piled up troops. The rest of the dragoons engaging, but with that softened up right flank, I think Crane. Yeah, even with the misfire, should be able to walk up into this. But he needs to get the entirety of his army forward. Right now, portions of it are getting boxed out. I think both, one Reaver getting picked off, the second one being scooped up. He is going to be able to press up to this. The Reaver now joining that fray, and now I think that is going to be GG from Jedi 1. Because he has nothing to stop this third base, which is instantly getting scouted from getting wiped out. An Archon moving in the midst of this. It's the any damage, and actually, in the midst of taking that shot, a probe dying as well. So the third base rapidly going to be taken out. Looks like Crane is going to go ahead and take his 9 o'clock location. Continuing to press forward. 
Another Archon being morphed, so it's going to be two Archons to defend against all of this, and I am shocked that Jedi has not GG'd already. A little bit shocked. Natural Expansion now being assailed. Archon engaging a Dragoon to the right, but the rest of this is just an overwhelming army. There's GG. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.